Hey guys, what's up? Halo Vlogs 13 here, back at it again with another video. And in today's video, I am here with another review. I'm going to be reviewing another flavor of Mountain Dew. I have reviewed Mountain Dew Frostbite. I have reviewed a few Mountain Dew energy drinks. In this video, we'll be reviewing Mountain Dew Major Melon. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, and let's get into it. But before this video starts, you guys know what to do. Go down below, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and if you do choose to subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell on the side so you get notified for every time I post a new video. And don't forget, I am doing a gift card giveaway for 200 subscribers, so if you want to get in that, I would consider subscribing. I uploaded a video a few videos back of how you could enter that giveaway, so if you're interested, go take a look at that. It's somewhere on the screen. I think it's right where I pointed. But either way, with that out of the way, let's get to the Mountain Dew Major Melon review. Alright guys, here is the Mountain Dew Major Melon can. It's a very interesting design. As you can see, it has mainly pink and green colors. You can see a watermelon right there wearing what looks like a World War II helmet. And there are different watermelons scattered all over the front of the can. There's not much on the back. It's just pink background with the white nutrition facts and the ingredients and all that. But anyways, according to this drink, the nutrition facts are as follows. In one can, there are 160 calories, which is 10 calories less than Code Red. There is zero grams of total fat, 50 milligrams of sodium, pretty sure Code Red had 150 milligrams, 44 grams of carbs, 44 grams of sugar, and zero grams of protein. So this drink slightly differs from that of Mountain Dew Major Melon. And then the ingredients list, I'm gonna let you take a look at that. Don't know if you can see it. If you can, you can pause the video and try to make out as much as you're able to. So this is a very scientific drink. I mean, all drinks that are carbonated or made in a factory like this are very scientific because they have a lot of chemicals and stuff in them. And as for the caffeine content, it is off by one milligram for Mountain Dew Code Red. This has 55 milligrams of caffeine for the whole can, while Code Red has 56. So, there you go. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. Ooh, it spurted me a little bit. Come on. Oh! Oh, oh success, finally. Okay, so I'm assuming, beyond a reasonable doubt, that this drink is watermelon flavored. So, let's go ahead and give it a taste. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, for all the other Mountain Dew drinks I've had, I could taste that Mountain Dew taste, like that signature taste you get when you drink a Mountain Dew beverage. But with this one, I don't really taste that. I just taste a whole bunch of watermelon flavor. It's pretty much all it is, it's just a watermelon soda. Honestly, I mean, it's good, don't get me wrong, it is good. Coming from a person who drinks a lot of soda, I mean, just, my, my stomach is kind of off camera, but I'm kind of chubby so that explains a lot <laughs> but anyway back to the soda yeah it's not really all that special honestly i think the can's design looks better than the actual taste of the soda itself which is very interesting i guess i don't know what word to use as you can tell by my videos my english isn't very the best See, that's a prime example. Isn't very the best. Isn't very the best. Oh, I should be a English teacher. Mm. 
You see, with me, I can't really process my thoughts into words very well. It's kind of hard for me, so there you go. That, that explains why my English is kind of broken sometimes. Anyway, I'm going off topic. So, on a scale of 1 to 10 for this drink, 1 being very disgusting, 10 being best soda ever, I would rate this like a 6.5 or a 7. It's... It's okay, but honestly, I mean, I would drink this more than watermelon Kool-Aid, that's for sure. Wait, does Kool-Aid even have a watermelon flavor? I mean, usually people eat watermelon with Kool-Aid. That sounds like a stereotype. Where have I heard that before? Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, that's my impressions on this drink. It's, it's okay. And now, I'm going to do a little science experiment, if you will. I'm going to take the Mountain Dew Code Red from the last video that I filmed, and the Mountain Dew Major Melon. I'm going to combine them together and see what kind of unique taste I can get out of all those drinks. So I'm gonna go get a cup, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I tried to find a clear cup, or like a red solo cup or something like that, but I couldn't find any, so I'm gonna have to use a Seahawks cup. I'm not really into the Seahawks or football, but you know what? I'm gonna use what I have. So, let's go ahead and get this chemistry underway. Alright guys, I know this is not the best angle, but I'm working with what I can, so I'm going to add both of these drinks into this cup and we're gonna just let science do the rest I guess I don't know if you can see the mixing but eh. yes. we'll just dump the whole lot of it in there there we go there's a little bit left in each can, so... I'm just gonna drink them both. Diabetes. Okay, I'm gonna show you... Well, you can actually see. There's the final color. Kinda looks like a blood orange kinda color. Like a dark orangish red color. So, we're gonna get back to our usual setup. With me and my background. And try this concoction. Hmm, I wonder what Code Red and Major Melon taste like mixed together. There's only one way to find out. Mountain Dew, Code Red, plus Major Melon, down the hatch. Yeah, it's... It's definitely a mix. I can taste the watermelon. I can taste the Mountain Dew flavor from the Code Red. Honestly, it's not really that special. It's just a Mountain Dew blend. Someone can make a cocktail out of this. Anyways, that is it for this Mountain Dew Major Melon review. I hope you guys enjoyed. I figured since it was the newest Mountain Dew flavor, I would get on board with the trend of making review videos about it. I've seen a few on YouTube. I mean, am I a bit late? Yeah, I came out in, I think it was early February or early January. I mean, it's only been a month apart. I'm sure it's, it's fine. It's still kind of relevant, right? Anyway, so that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Ooh, that's what happens when you drink a lot of soda in one time. Ooh, give me the burps. Anyways, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe because I want you to join the Halo Army because I could use as much support as I can get. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get drunk off of the soda. Probably get major diabetes in the process. But you know what? When you're a part-time review channel and a part-time everything else channel, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit.
So if I get diabetes, I'm going to hold on to it and embrace it and take a lot of insulin. Anyways, I'm gonna go. Bye guys.